So you're thinking about moving to Atlanta, Georgia from the Big Apple from New York City. But before you do, you're wondering, you know, what's the cost of living going to be like? Not just just how will your lifestyle be different, but how will that translate to your wallet, your bank account? And that's what we're going to talk about in this video, as well as the fact that I, too, have moved from Atlanta to New York and New York to Atlanta and talk about my experience doing that. And we're going to get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of living in Atlanta, Georgia, well then subscribe below and ring that bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Atlanta. My name's Denny. The team and I get calls each and every day from people just like you looking to make the move from New York to Atlanta. Well, maybe not every day from New York to Atlanta, but people from all over the place call us to help them make, uh, make a smooth move. Uh, to Atlanta. We absolutely love it. So whether you're moving next week or next year or anytime in between, call us, email us, text us, schedule a Zoom, send a carrier pigeon, whatever you want to do. Happy to help you make a smooth move to Atlanta. As I mentioned in this video, I'm going to share my uh, perspective having moved from Atlanta to New York and back uh, and all of the cost uh, associated and cost of living savings from living in Atlanta. Uh, when I was a young man, graduated from uh, college, decided I was going to move to the big city of New York with four friends, a friend from South Africa who I played soccer with, a friend from Sweden who played tennis, and then a guy who was just, uh, you know, an electrician in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So we all packed up. We all moved to New York. I lived in uh, 151 in Amsterdam uh in spanish harlem and that was back in the late 90s early 2000 and then um that all kind of came crashing down when a couple of planes flew into the world trade center and i thought to myself as a young man i didn't sign up for that and moved right back to atlanta another fun fact though my roommate uh who uh there in new york all of my roommates wanted to be uh models i had no aspirations of being a male model uh, although my wife tells me that I'm attractive, but, uh, you know, hers is the only opinion that counts to me. But uh, one of my roommates actually became one of the most successful male models on the planet. His name is Ben Hill. And uh, you can, if you Google Ben Hill, he's the gorgeous man who pops up on all those pictures. Uh, but we uh, lived in New York for a couple of years. And it was really cool to see kind of his career flourish. I took a different path. And now I live in the suburbs of Atlanta, married with four children, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. So what's that got to, to do with you? Well, having moved back here, I can share with you exactly how it will be different. One is the thing I loved about New York is the, the energy, right? I mean, you could live in a crappy apartment like mine and uh, with no air conditioner and um, no money and still be excited about life, right? Like there's just this energy, this buzz about New York City that you're not going to get anywhere else. You know, I lived in LA too, in Santa Monica, and I can't bring the beach to Atlanta. But but Atlanta is a very uh, active, thriving, vibrant, energetic city, um, but it's more suburban sprawl, right? You, there is a downtown area and it's very urban, but you're not going to get the mass transit. People, it's a commuter city. Like you have to have a car here to get around. There's very few places you can live, work and play and never have a car. So, um, you know, I miss that about New York, but I can go visit and I do. Well, I haven't since COVID because, well, frankly, uh, you know, as you know, living there, the COVID restrictions are extremely burdensome in New York, and that is not the case in Atlanta. It's it's uh, uh, initially when COVID first hit, it was more restrictive in the city of Atlanta. That never really happened in the suburbs, but today, you know, early 2022, there are no restrictions, uh, no mask mandates, no you know uh, vaccine requirements. Every uh, people actually, our kids actually go to school, that kind of stuff. So um, not a ton of virtual learning. So uh, you know, if we can help you navigate like what area best fits like your life lifestyle and what you want that to look like or feel like. But I'd say the closer to the Atlanta city center you get, the more restrictive uh, the COVID uh, guidelines were. Uh, and now they're pretty relaxed everywhere now, but the further away you get, the less kind of an impact it had on your daily life. And so Atlanta's open for business. Speaking of business, uh, I, I could probably rattle off most of these from memory, but 
uh, UPS, Delta, Coke, Home Depot. Those have been really big, you know, Fortune 500, Atlanta, Staples. Uh, but you may not know this. Uh, Kia manufactures uh, cars. Rivian, R-I-V-I-A-N, is opening an electric vehicle plant on the east side of Atlanta. Uh, they're building that and hiring 10,000 people. Google, Amazon, Facebook opened a huge data center here. Uh, the Porsche and Mercedes-Benz North American headquarters here in Atlanta. So there's a lot of business going on in Atlanta. Our busiest airport in the world, Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. So whether you travel or um, for business or pleasure, there's always a direct flight. Flights are super cheap. You can get anywhere quickly. Like it's really, really Atlanta has a great place to live. And as it relates to the cost of living, because that's why you're here. Um, let's talk about a couple of categories and then I'll give you the overall the big number, right? That'll be the big reveal at the end. Um, we'll talk about housing taxes, that kind of stuff. But um, groceries and uh, food is 18% um, more in New York than it is in Atlanta. So you can easily save a significant amount of money on just food and groceries. My kid, I have four kids, are going to eat me out of house and home, right? So 18% savings is a big deal when you're feeding a lot of mouths and so uh food and groceries are a lot cheaper uh housing in new york is it says 163 percent more so average uh home here in atlanta 334,000. uh median home in new york city says 654,000. so uh it's like 162 percent more home ownership 100 percent more in just the home price itself so you can sell your you know i don't even know where you can get a six hundred fifty four thousand dollar home in new york city because i would imagine that that would be like a closet here for three hundred thirty four thousand, you actually get a single family home with a backyard <laughs> a two-car garage right it's like uh, it's a it's a nice home like a lot of my clients uh are you know first-time home buyers are in that three to four hundred thousand range and 334 gets them an actual house not a closet so uh, i haven't seen a six hundred fifty-four thousand dollar place in new york lately but i imagine it's probably not comparable to the house you get here i'd say it's probably two to three hundred percent more uh to live in new york from a housing perspective probably more than that to buy a comparable house or property Utilities are 43 point or 45.3% more in New York. So electricity, gas, water, all that stuff is going to be, you know, 43, I'm 45% more in New York. So you can save a lot of money there as well. Transportation is 47% more in New York. So we're talking about vehicle insurance, gas maintenance, um, all of those things that go into what it, the cost of ownership and to use a vehicle i mean if all you got a subway card and you just solely depend on the subway then yeah of course that's probably cheaper than owning a vehicle but if you're going to own a vehicle in new york city and even parking right most parking in atlanta is free parking in the city it, it ain't free I'm, but i'm preaching to the choir you know that so extremely uh it, a huge savings to own a vehicle here in atlanta Healthcare is 30% more in New York versus Atlanta. So doc, routine doctor's visits, pediatrician, eye doctor, that kind of dentist, all that stuff's going to be cheaper here in Atlanta. And then those emergency room visits, unfortunately, and those um, unexpected expenses are all going to be significantly less um, impactful here in Atlanta. So uh, before I give you the grand difference, one of the things, uh, uh, one of the things that's not factored into this is just literally the taxes property taxes on that million dollar home in new york depending on what county you're in is two to three percent uh in georgia it's more like one percent give or take a couple this could be 0.8 it could be 1.1 but it's like property taxes much less. income tax in new york uh, almost a 10.9 almost 11 percent Georgia, 5.75%. So you can save 50% on your taxes here as well. And so all that to say that if you made $50,000 in New York, that's the equivalent to making $100,000 in Georgia. 
said another way, if you were making $100,000 in New York, you could make 50 and have the same lifestyle if you lived in Atlanta. So significantly cheaper. Overall, 54% cheaper to live in Georgia. Than it is, I mean, in Atlanta than it is to live in New York City. So I hope that helped give you an idea of just how much you can save by living here. If you can keep your job and work remotely, you could significantly impact your lifestyle just by moving to Atlanta and you could have, uh, you know, nicer car, nicer home, better, you know, better schools, safer environment, lower crime, less restrictive, keep more of your income and uh, have an overall, you know, better quality of life. And if we can help you do that, then we would love to be a resource for you. So if you've moved from New York to Atlanta, uh, love if we miss something, drop that in the comments below. You, you know, you can help us create value. Uh, we appreciate your contribution. If you haven't already subscribed and tap the bell for notifications so you get notified when we release new videos. And obviously, if you're making the move, we'd love to help you make a smooth move. So reach out, call, text, email, schedule a Zoom. And until I see you on a Zoom or in person, then hopefully we'll see you on the next episode.